Hey everybody and welcome back to another toy review. In this video I have a whole case of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Pint Sized Heroes to open up and at the end review with you guys. So um, let's get started. These are of course made by Funko. Here is a look at the bag. You can see all the different ones you can collect and there's different rarities for them. And these bags come with a little tab to make it easy to open up without scissors. And the first one we have here, check him out. He's very detailed for being so small, pretty cool. And this one is a one out of 24. Also in this bag, was a little checklist so you can see and collect them all. It says some are exclusives, which I'm not sure to where they are exclusive. That's pretty neat that they added a little checklist. And we got the Star Lord for the second character, and he is a one out of eight. Just a quick thing, I just noticed the back of the bag and the little checklist um, that comes inside the bag are saying two different things. Um, so for the same character, the one says 1 out of 12 and the back of the bag says 1 out of 8. And all the ones that on the back of the bag say 1 out of 8 have been changed to 1 out of 12 for the checklist. So I'm not entirely sure which one is right. I think it's very weird that they have discrepancies like this. Um, but hopefully it's 1 out of 12 so I don't get too many of them. And we have a Star-Lord with his helmet on. And according to the back of the bag, this is 1 out of 8. And according to the checklist, it's 1 out of 12. We have another of the helmeted Star-Lord. Here is a Nebula, who this one... Um, says is 1 out of 12. And the checklist also says 1 out of 24. <laughs> so none of them match up. And another little note about these characters is the heads can turn in a full circle. Next one is Rocket Raccoon, one of my favorite Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, he is 1 out of 8, 8 or 1 out of 12. And here is a second of the same rocket. Oh, we have Nebula. She's so cute. She's 1 out of 24 or... Okay, 1 out of 24 did not change from the two things. So She's 1 out of 24, and she's really cute. I like her. Okay, so I just realized I call this character Nebula. When it's not Nebula, it's Mantis. Nebula is the blue one. Sorry about that. And here is a third one of that same Star-Lord. And we have a second one of the same unmasked Star-Lord. And here's a third one. And we have a third rocket. We have first Groot, and this is one out of eight or one out of twelve. 
He's so cute. The head turns around all the way. Look at the top, all that detail there with the green. Very cute. Can't wait to see Baby Groot. Next one is a second Groot. And we have a third Groot. Here is a second Nebula. Oh, we finally, have, this is Yondu. Finally have a Yondu. Check him out. Um, so he is a 1 out of 12, or if you're going off the list, a 1 out of uh, 24. Second Yondu. Oh, we got a first Drax. Check him out. Looks pretty sweet. Like all his tattoos. And we have our first Gamora. Check her out. They did a really good job with the face paint being all silvery. I like her hair a lot. Here's our second uh, Gamora, which Drax and Gamora are both 1 out of 12 or 1 out of 24 of uh, rarity. Here's our second Drax. Ooh, we got one of the exclusive 1 out of 24 ones. I'm not sure what this character is, but it's pretty cool to get exclusive one. I like the hairstyle. Pretty awesome. And last bag for this case. Oh, we got another one. Well, okay, so again, once again with the bags and the back of the boxes not being the same, um, never mind. The other one that I got was not an exclusive. They're both 1 out of 24. I thought it was this one instead. But no, I didn't get any of the exclusive ones in this box, which is probably because they're um, selective to a certain store or place to buy them, which um, mine doesn't have on the box anywhere that it's exclusive. So so this is Ur like Ego, the living planet, but he's pretty sweet. So here are all the um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Pine Sites Heroes from that box. I was able to get all of the regular ones uh, in this opening with a lot of duplicates. Um, none of the exclusive ones, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer because if you look at the exclusive ones, some of the cutest and most interesting figures are exclusives. Um, but I think they're super cute. I like, um, I like the detail put in them, even though they're super small. Like, for instance, uh, Drax, they <laughs> took the time to paint, like, little abs on him, which is really cute. And uh, with Nebula's headpiece, that looks pretty neat with the metallic paint and everything. So I think these are super cute. I would definitely recommend them for any um, Guardians of the Galaxy fans. My overall rating from 1 to 10, which is my own personal opinion, and 10 is the best and 1 is the lowest, I'll give these a 10 out of 10. I think they're super cute and I like them. So thank you guys for watching this toy review and I'll see you next time. Bye!